Hey everyone, in this video I want to go over latent derelict allocation, which I'll be referring to as LDA, within ML.NET. Now I'll put a link in the description that goes over a lot more details in what LDA is, but let's just say for example you have three different samples of text, and the first three talk about ML.NET, and then the second three talk about the weather, and you run LDA on top of those things, and you specify that these six items contain two topics, then the first three are going to have a higher confidence on the first topic, and the second three are going to have a higher confidence on the second topic. But once again, I definitely refer to the article that I have in the description. But right now, I'm in Visual Studio. I have a console application and already have ML.NET installed in here, so we can get started. First thing here is we're going to go ahead and create our ML context. And next I'm going to have a couple of sample items, but first let's create our input class. So I'll call it input data. And all this is, it's just going to have a string of text in it. And for my samples, I'll just paste these in here. We have four samples. The first two, and let's bring in this list namespace. The first two are talking about ML.NET. So I love ML.NET, and ML.NET is a great way to create machine learning models. And the second one's about cats, so I like cats. And then the second one is I'm allergic to cats, and I do happen to be allergic to cats, but I still have one because I like cats. All right, so we have that. And to get our uh, data view, we will do context that data then load from enumerable from our samples and now to build our pipeline and unfortunately we can't just run LDA by itself here we have to do some pre-processing on our text which isn't too bad and ML.NET makes it pretty easy it does involve a few steps so context transforms text first we will normalize the text and the output column I'll say normalized text. Input column is going to be text, which is what we get from our text property in our input data class there. And I'm going to say keep punctuations as false. We have some punctuations in here that we don't we don't really need, so I'll just disregard those. All right, next I'll append another item. It's going to be context, transforms, text, and then I'll tokenize into words. I'll call these tokens. That's the output column. The input column is going to be normalized text from our previous step there. And pinned another item. So context transforms text. Then here I'll remove default stop words. We have some default ones like a two. So in here, uh, I'll just have a single parameter, call it tokens. And what that's going to do is it, it's going to have the input and the output columns both name as tokens. I'll pin another item. Context transforms and we do conversion here and we map value to key. So we map these token items to keys and I'll use the same thing tokens as the only parameter. And we'll do another item here. Context transforms text and here I want to produce ingrams from our values here and I'll keep this as tokens and our last item is where we actually do our transforms text that latent derelict allocation output column the features input column tokens and I'll put the number of topics which I believe you have to kind of know ahead of time I specify this as two, and that's our pipeline there. So we'll do our transform using pipeline that fit on our data, and now we can create a prediction engine using context model create prediction engine. Use our input data, and now we need our output data, and our transform goes in as the parameter. So we we'll create our output data. So let's go to that. And all this is going to have is a single property. It's going to be a float array. I'm going to call it features, but you can call it whatever you want and then use that column name 
attribute on here as well. So we have our prediction engine. Now we can get a couple of predictions. So first one, prediction engine predict, and I'm going to use my samples as input here. So I'm going to use the first item that talks about ml.net. And then our second prediction, I use the third item that talks about cats. And I'll actually create an action that takes in an output data. I'm called print predictions. And it's going to be a lambda, so predictions. Pretty much just making kind of an inline method here. So for each feature and prediction, because of the spell this right, we just do prediction. Prediction that features. And in here, console.writes our feature. And I'll format this as a float for four items. And I add a couple spaces. After our method, we we'll just do console.write line to give us an extra line there. And so we can call this print predictions, uh, prediction one. And then we can do the same thing on the second one. So let's run this and see what this looks like. Can I find input column normalized text? And that is because I can't type. There we go. Let's run this again. There we go. So we get some output up here. But if you look right here, this is our probabilities. So we have 60% probability that the first item is in has topic one and then 40% of topic two and then it's reversed the other way 40% topic one and 60% topic two so we can we know that 60% of our first sample is talking about the first topic which is ml.net and the same 60% on the second topic on our third item is talking about cats all right I'll end things there that's a little bit about latent derelict allocation there hope you learned a little bit and feel free to Look at that article for a lot more information about it. So hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.